Well guys, welcome to a new episode of NB Metal Detecting. Uh, today, I'm gonna be going out to the beach. I haven't been there since they closed down the park, so it hasn't been finalized for this year. I will try to get that done today. So hopefully we can find something good, but uh, we'll see. It's a little cold, it's like minus two and the wind's blowing like 30 kilometers an hour or something like that, so it's a little chilly but uh, we'll get her done. Now, I know we haven't been, uh, we haven't released a video in over six weeks. Um, it's been pretty hectic. Um, there's been some major changes in my personal life. And uh, also, Christian's been traveling. He went to Sweden, Ottawa a couple times. I was in Cape Breton and PEI for relocation for work. And on top of that, it was hunting season. So every chance I got, I was out hunting rather than detecting. So. That being said, we're back at it. We got a few more weeks before the ground freezes over completely. So let's get at it today and uh, we'll see you on the beach. All right guys, I'm on the beach. It's chilly. Uh, haven't found much so far. A couple of bottle caps and full tabs as usual. And I've been driving a penny. So I apologize for the wind. probably like a dozen holes I got pull tabs uh, bottle caps you name it we uh, you know the usual stuff on the beach obviously came across a signal I thought it was a pull tab at first it was ringing a little bit lower than a pull tab it's ringing at like 52 51 dug it up and it looks like a little earring looks like a little bit of fancy on it there's some diamonds Let me clean it up and I'll show you a better picture. Then we get a surface line. It's a quarter. Take it. Yeah. Seen better days. 2006. Cool. Off to the next hole. Alright, so the next hole here. I don't know what it is yet. Let's take a look together. There it is. Kind of cool. I like this one. Yeah. All right. Off to the next hole. So it's pretty windy and cold. Heading back towards the truck now. I haven't found too much more after that. Uh, I thought I'd give you a shot of the waves. And that water will be cold today. Just a tad bit nipply. All right, let's find another another hole. Here. Well, that's it for the beach. Um, after I took the shot of the waves, we started walking back towards the truck, and I even turned off the detector. It was that cold. My legs were freezing. The wind was blowing. We just couldn't do it anymore. So. That's it for the beach. Let's jump right into the wrap up and then we'll move on to other stuff. All right, let's do a quick wrap up here. So first thing we found the ball. That was a surface find. Uh, found this little hook here, most likely for a dog leash or something like that. Uh, we got a quarter and four dimes, all clad, all older, over the 80s. Uh, one penny, Canadian penny. Um, this is the jewelry that I found. Found this one earring. I'm not sure if it's real or not. I'll, I'll have to go get it checked out. But uh, from what I can tell, it's it's not real. But uh, still looks nice. Looks fancy. All right. And uh, we got this uh, anchor and chain pendant, which is pretty cool. I don't think it's silver. But uh, yeah, cool nonetheless. Uh, bottle caps. We got one washer toss uh, washer. Some... Pull tabs, as I always do, and some foil. So that was it for the beach. So as you guys know, I took a week off work to go moose hunting. My dad locked out and got his license this year, and I locked out and was his second shooter. So we went out. Uh, we had a full week to go. We had an awesome camp to live in, and you guys are going to see it. So let's jump right into it. On the second morning is when we locked out. It's all coming up. Check it out. All right, so we're just pulling into the camp right next to the river. We're here for the week. Let's go moose hunting, guys. Look at this camp, huh? Jeez. I 
think my dad's one happy camper. <laughs> All right, stay tuned, guys. This camp is just amazing. Ah, let's go ahead and take a little tour. We got the living room area, kitchen or dining table. My dad making a clam stew. Ooh -wee. Can't wait for that. And all the bedrooms and stuff are all upstairs, but look at this woodwork. So beautiful. It's for sale too. Maybe we should buy it. Let's go back up to the front porch. Oh, there's my Alpine can. Might as well have a beer before we start. Uh, we got to go set up the bait and stuff and check out the cameras again. And uh, yeah tomorrow morning so on the first day we were calling and calling and calling and nothing was coming back to us right so there's just nothing um, heard something in the back and I take a look and here's what it is a bear So it was a decent spot, really loved the spot. We had some really promising pictures on the cameras, but we didn't see anything. Um, so next day was day two, we had a different plan. Here we go. Well, we just got our moose. Right. Uh, let's okay. go take a look at it. Another successful year. There he is. There he is. Okay. <laughs> yes, okay. sir. Hee hoo! That breeder, too, you can smell him. Nice. I know what Boy said to come. <laughs> Yes, sir. How are you feeling, Dad? Oh, it's all right. That's a nice one. We'll take it. We'll take it. How many points? 12? I think it's 12. 12, 12. points. Probably about 50 some inches I'll spread. That. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. He had a rough time. Didn't like yours. No way. <laughs> Sweet. All right. Let's take a few pictures with it.
Well, that's it for the moose hunt. Uh, what a great time. I mean, the freezer is full now. We had lots of jerky to go with it. It was great. Um, aside from that, we, uh, we've been traveling a lot. I've been at Cape Breton and PEI, but Christian has been to Sweden and uh, also went to Ottawa a couple times. And he actually went detecting in Ottawa. So let's take a, a little bit of time and uh, look at his footage out in Ottawa. See what he's got. Yeah, we're here at NB Metal Detecting. We're in Ottawa here. Just found this guy. I was here uh, detecting and uh, he showed up and he's like, hey, I never seen anyone detecting before here in this area. So, uh, what's your name, bud? Uh, my name's Rob Cairns. Rob Cairns. Where are you from? Originally, uh, Southampton in the UK. UK? Uh, I live uh, here now in uh, Canada and the Ottawa area for 15 years. Right on. And you detect here in this area uh, yeah, quite a all bit? all over. All over. All over? Yeah. Yeah. It's a good hobby. Oh, yeah. It's, it's awesome. Not as much history here as we do in the UK, but uh, it's good. Right on. Right on. Well, I hope we find some stuff here. And uh, good luck. Thanks, buddy. All right, bud. Well, I'm here in Ottawa here. Um, I decided to hit a park near... Uh, very near where the Prime Minister lives. Look my hole here. And I got a coin right here. That's what it is. It's a dime. What year is it? Let's see the year. Okay, give me a sec. Just gonna check with my eyes here. Ah, oh, it's an 87. Alright, next hole. Oh, I'll dug my hole here. As you can see. And Nickel. Let's see what it is. Nineteen eighty five. Well, still in the eighties. We'll keep looking. This area is pretty old, so Hopefully we'll find something older. All right, next hole. Well, I dug my hole here, and I found my culprit. It's right there. Looks like a pull tab. Pretty sure it's a pull tab. Definitely not a coin. Yep. Right on. Next hole. There's Rob there. The ET Pro. Hopefully, I'll find something good. I'm going with the Ace 150 today, so not much discrimination compared to the ET Pro, but we'll try our best. All right. This area. Hmm. 
Impassable tub. I saw it. There it is. All right, next hole. Well, there's Rob. Just take my hole here. On the nearing, looks like. Right on. Nice. Woohoo! Nice hole. Yeah, so we were metal detecting here in Ottawa and uh, this guy just showed up with his motorcycle and he's like, hey, what are you guys doing? Are you part of a club? So, uh, uh, my name is Darren Conway, originally from New Brunswick, now residing in Ottawa. Right on. Uh, just saw these two guys metal detecting, took a turn around to see if they found anything special, <laughs> introduced myself and basically talk shop and see what kind of products they're using. And awesome, just, man. Like, making new friends. Right on. Keep digging. Just keep digging, bud. <laughs> Thank you so much. Well, got my hole here. I found a, some kind of button. <sighs> kind of interesting. Yeah. Nice. Right on. Next hole. All right. So. It looks like I got a coin here. I don't know if you can see that. Let's check it out. Is it a silver? It's pretty shallow, so I doubt it. But let's see. Yeah, 2008. Alright. Next one. So, did you find anything? Uh, the ship. Nothing? No. Hot work though, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I'm done. Yeah, don't blame me. Oh. Well guys, that's all the footage we have for you in Ottawa. Christian met some interesting people while he was up there. That's awesome. Um, it's good to keep the hobby alive, but uh, that's all we have for you this week. We want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. And also, you can follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. We usually post there first before we release our videos, so check us out. And uh, aside from that, just keep digging, and we'll see you next episode. And make sure you watch the next episode because it's pretty good. We found some old Acadian stuff. Good stuff. All right, cheers. Till next time. Who are these metal detecting guys anyway? Just going out there digging holes everywhere? Like, come on. God. Ah.